Good morning, this is Brian and Sharon, and we are out and about today. It's been a while between the weather and COVID, and Sharon hasn't been 100%. We haven't been out much, but today we got up and thought, cabin fever is getting bad. Let's get the heck out of the house. So we loaded up and hightailed it out up here, a little north of Barstow, California, out to the desert. It's a really kind of a cool, cloudy day, but really nice outside. So we've come to a place called Rainbow Basin Natural Area. We've been here before. It's been a while. We thought it'd be a nice way to get out and about. And today we actually took the truck rather than the old, good old Camry because it's a dirt, rocky dirt road. So we will be experiencing that and it's supposed to be it's a pretty canyon with lots of colors and the rocks and stuff so we'll be uh, filming a little bit up ahead and then uh, showing that to you so let's get going well into the canyon it's a bumpy ride but it's beautiful I wonder what lives in that cave and more importantly is it watching me this would be a cool little spot for a picnic looks like some ancient people lived here before because here it's a pictogriff. Not sure what it means. Just a little view here up on a rise of all the formations, shapes, colors, probably be prettier on a sunnier day, but it's very interesting, especially when you get up close to all the different little things going on. Let's see where Share Bear went. Oh, she's way down in the gully. Wave, Share Bear. There she is. Just a little panorama at another stop along our one-way road through the Rainbow Basin area here. 
few of the cars out here today join the cool weather and the interesting geological scenery. I don't know the geology, I think I need to do a little bit more looking up, see how this was all formed. It's probably very interesting. But all I know is it's just such a cool place. I recommend it highly. Anybody looking for a little day trip in the Southern California area or if you're in California visiting. Absolutely one of my favorite places. And it's cool because not everything has to be a national park with crowded people. There's always these little out of the way gems. And this certainly qualifies as one of them. Closing in. We made it through the narrows just in the nick of time. So we finished going through the canyon, the scenic canyon drive, and now we're over at the Owl Canyon Campground, just a right next door basically. And they have a campground here with potties and a picnic area and stuff. And um, still pretty. And they have a little hiking trail. So we are going to see what's down the hiking trail. So see you down there. There's just all these pretty color rocks. They're all tiny.
cool little side canyon. Feels like being on the moon, except I'm not floating. Well, we kind of got to the end of the trail, so we're heading back now. Beautiful day, beautiful trail, getting a little cool and windy out. Laravo Basin, absolutely one of my favorites. Highly recommend anybody come out here. Uh, the thing is, around every curve of the road or bend of the trail, it's something a little bit different to see and pretty. You could spend your all day taking hundreds of pictures, but somewhere along the line, you just have to tell yourself that's enough. But it's a beautiful place. It's been a great day. Um, Hope to see you all real soon. Uh, so this is Brian. Sign off for Brian and Sharon. And we will see you all on the next trip. Well, we made a quick stop on the way home at Dutch Brothers Coffee here in Victorville. We used to go to these back in the day in Portland, Oregon, when my daughter Meg lived there. Finally building a few down here, not close to where we live, but there was one on the way home, so we stopped and we got us a coffee. And that's a new shirt there. Here it is. Woo! It's a golden eagle. It's a lot of stuff I probably shouldn't have, but we're gonna go for it. So have a great day.